Hello my friends, this is Hot Pop Bob here, not just back with another video, but this time I'm back with a personal favorite recipe that just about everyone in the world loves to eat. Pho. Today I'm going to show you step by step my version of pho that consists of beef neck bones, brisket, shrimp, honeycomb, and a whole lot more. This recipe is going to feed around 8 to 10 people for about only $50. Yes, I said it about only fifty dollars. So what exactly is pho? It's a Vietnamese soup dish that consists of broth, rice noodles, many different herbs and spices, veggies, and meat. Pho is a very popular food in Vietnam where it is served in households, street stalls, and restaurants. This ultimate comfort food is now just as popular in the United States. The key to an awesome bowl of pho is in the broth. Though on the surface the broth looks simple to make, it actually involves a lot of TLC, patience and time to make. Packed with many different types of ingredients, I'm going to show you the whole process on making the perfect savory broth that is simple yet very complex at the same time. Please make sure to grab a notebook, take copious notes, and try making this on your own. Enjoy the show! Now, if you're ready to get started, make sure to please subscribe to this channel so I can continue posting more food videos, smash the like button, and hit the bell for notifications. Let's go! All right, as I said earlier, the key to a delicious bowl of pho is in the savory broth. I start off with two pounds of beef brisket, two pounds of beef neck bone, and five pounds of any other kind of beef bone you can get your hands on. I got these at my local Asian grocery store. The best bones to use is oxtail bones, but that is on the pricey side. You can use that if you like. My wife, I mean, I am more on the frugal side, haha. <laughs> I'm going to drop these bones into a pot of boiling water. You want to blanch the bones for about 10 or 15 minutes to get rid of the caca that floats to the top so that you can have a clean looking broth. While that is boiling, I'm going to prepare more ingredients for the broth. Here I have two whole peeled yellow onions, six to seven peeled shallots. Onions are sweet and shallots are much more intense in flavor than the onions. Two whole pieces of unpeeled ginger. Leave the ginger skin on as there is a lot of flavor on there. I'm going to now char the yellow onions and ginger right over the stovetop. The goal is to quickly char them so it provides a little smoky essence to the broth. After about 10 or 15 minutes, I transferred the bones into a large separate pot that I had boiling. I added about one and a half gallons of water. It's about 24 cups in case you're wondering. Now it's time to toss in the charred onions and ginger. As you may have noticed, I did not char the shallots as the yellow onions and ginger is enough to provide that smoky flavor. And now for the seasonings that make up this complex broth. Here I have about 10 cloves. Cloves is an intense aromatic spice that has a subtle sweet flavor. Two cardamons. Cardamon is citrusy and sweet. One stick of cinnamon. I'm pretty sure all of you know what cinnamon smells and tastes like.
Two tablespoons of fennel seeds. Just to let you know, fennel seeds is slightly sweet and has a pretty strong licorice-like taste. And well, the star of the show, Ho Star Anise, about 20 pieces. Star Anise is a pretty mild and very fragrant liquor smell and flavor. I'm gonna now heat all of the seasonings together on a low to medium heat. It's important to just heat them up slightly and not burn them. Once they're heated up, I'm gonna transfer them into a small cloth packet. You can get these at your local Asian grocery store. Check this out. Anyone know what this is? I'll give you a few seconds to review. It's honeycomb tripe. What the heck is a honeycomb tripe? Well, it comes from the stomach lining of the reticulum, which is the second stomach of a cow. It's more tender than blanket tripe and has a honeycomb texture. How do you like that for a fun fact of the day? I'm gonna slice up thinly about one pound of this honeycomb tripe. You wanna take your pho broth to the next level? Then make sure to use this item. It's called daikon. Daikon is a root vegetable similar to the shape of a large carrot with a flavor that's similar to a mild red radish. It's grown in many Asian countries and in Japan it's actually the most commonly eaten vegetable. Cut one daikon up into about quarter inch pieces and throw into the broth later. It's important to have the broth cook in a light simmer, no rolling boil. You should only see light bubbles surface. Let it simmer for about three hours. After about three hours, put in the seasoning packet. Pour in about a quarter cup of fish sauce. If you've never tasted fish sauce before, it tastes, well, fishy and salty and a little bit funky, but in a good way, if that's even possible. This helps balance out the flavor and aroma of the broth. Add two tablespoons of salt and five tablespoons of pure white granulated sugar. You may be thinking at this point, man, Hot Pot Bob, that's a lot of stuff and it seems like a lot of work making faux broth. Well, yes. I hope you all have a greater appreciation of this dish the next time you order it at a restaurant. We now let it simmer for another two to two and a half hours. So a total simmering time of about five hours for this broth. After about five total hours of simmering, take the seasoning packet out and strain the broth to get all the goodies out. Look at how beautiful and rich that broth looks.
Next, I'm going to separate the beef bones, neck bones, and the beef brisket. In a separate pot, pour in about two quarts of the faux broth and use to cook the beef balls and honeycomb tripe for about 15 minutes or so. After about 15 minutes, throw in one pound of 16 to 20 count shell off and devein shrimp. I like to use the extra jumbo sized shrimp. Cook for only about a minute and shut off the fire. For the noodles, I like to use the fresh rice noodles. Get about three pounds of it. Bring about five quarts of water to a rolling boil. Toss in the noodles, stir for only about 10 or 15 seconds and strain. You do not want to overcook the noodles. Hey, we are at the stretch run. It's serving time. As for the sides, I chopped up one bunch of fresh cilantro, one pound of bean sprouts, one bunch of fresh sweet basil, chopped up about two jalapenos, and quartered two limes. You can also chop up four to five bunches of green onions, but my kids don't like green onions, so I left them out. Just look at how tender the beef brisket is. So yummy. <laughs> 